Right, we're down at the table. We've got the Smock Morph 219 kit, and I have the same seven color rainbow version. Right, look on the side, then it does say we've got the new IQS chip, 1.9 inch touchscreen balance charging, password protection, instantaneous fire, and I think that is input keyboard, which is the world's first e cigarette with the input keyboard on it. On this side here, it just shows you the contents. We do have the tank and a couple of spare 0.25 ohm mesh coils in it. On the back, we've got not for sale for miners, usual sort of uh, bollocks going on there. And we've got a uh, QR code as well. Shake the box to open. Right inside, you'll get this uh, other car, which has got a QR code. I think it might be for their uh, vape forum site or something like that. We've got a battery safety card here always make sure your batteries uh, wraps are intact because that helps protect them from short circuits right we've got a usb firmware update and charging cable get a little baggie here with a couple of gaskets and o-rings in a spare two milliliter glass tank we get this spare sleeve for going over your tank to protect it there is the spare call have a quick look at that uh, so there's a 0.250 mesh i think it's uh, rated between 30 and 70 something like that or 30 and 80 best between i can never read these uh, i just recommend just going up starting off low and going up until you get the sweet spot but when you first get this you want to prime up the cotton make sure it's saturated with e-liquid look inside there there you see we've got sort of medium bore on this sort of in between mouth to lung and a uh, proper wide bore so it's like a restrictive uh, direct to lung you're getting on there make sure you prime up all that cotton let it sit for a bit fill your tank up and uh, let it sit for a few minutes before you take your burst vape right here it is then here's the tank we'll go onto the tank first it does come pre-installed with this uh, uh, bubble glass on it uh, believe it holds uh, six mil in this version i will confirm that on the screen if i am wrong it comes with an eight uh, five ten fitting drip tip i actually quite like this snazzy little drip tip on here uh, it's not too wide and not too thin so it's ideal for this type of tank couple of o-rings on it no o-rings inside there and there's your bore right so we've got top fit on this usual smock situation a little bit stiff as ever because you always find you have to sort of push down at the same time to open it and it is very stiff at first flip it open fill your juice down this port here not down there because that is where your airflow go and if you just look here when you try and do it if you just go back it never seems to catch so you have to sort of push it down and then push it over and that's an inherent issue with smock tanks i have found quick look at the bottom then we got designed by smock a uh, couple of markings floating gold plate 510 pin peak insulator surrounding it so i wouldn't advise using this on a mechanical device for sure a hybrid mechanical device because that pin is not protruding it and it's not uh, adjustable right we do have adjustable airflow though so we've got stoppers on both sides and just tighten up a little bit more so you can open it up and it'll be the same on both sides and there it is in fully open position so we have got a little bit of nerding all around these bits and up the top here we've got the seven color rainbow going on so it's pretty funky i'm not a fan of this fat boy glass here but you can take that one off if you want and use it in two more mode which is what i was doing there's a quick look inside the base so the call you want to take that out i have used this one for a good two or three weeks uh, i did wash it out a little bit but there you can just see it's a little bit gunked up taking the glass piece off then yeah so just push down on the centerpiece and put it off you've got lovely fat o-rings that help make the seal good idea to just lube out these o-rings so it goes on a little bit easier if you want to put your coil in you just literally just plug it there and then you can do the tank back up right and there we got it in uh, straight glass mode which uh, i think you would agree looks uh, a damn sight better unfortunately i've got the rainbow version so it's a little bit uh, wild this one we have got like a resin panel you can't remove it so we've got um, a bit of that going on let's just put the tank on well actually we'll just look around the modern and put the tank on i've got four screws around the edges there i believe they're star shaped ones 
there's your 510 pin which uh, I do believe is spring loaded yep you can just see there, a nice strong spring on this one as well you've got a, a button on there that's a, a function button we've also got the fire button here nice clicky fire button like a, a lot of these smock mods smock logo there here's the massive screen you've got the 1.9 inch screen so yeah no rough edges anything like that uh, bit alien-esque uh, the uh, design on this particular one and there's a quick look on the bottom and obviously to open up you just pull that back like that clearly marked in white the polarities are which is always good there's your contacts there and yeah you can even see we've got the positive and minus there too which is awesome so you know what way around to put your batteries so we've got a couple of uh, sony vct6s these are the torchy the battery boy wrap ones so put those on there push it forward again and then you're on so i believe it's five clicks to stern this is one on there you go smots logo you can change the pattern actually around the edge morph there's a version number and there is the screen so you've got a lovely screen on this one but it does uh, drain the battery as you'd imagine we're just going to put a tank on actually And there you go, you press the fire button, we've got new call, so you've got yes or no. So we better put yes because this is new atomizer and it shows you the resistance range. So let's have a talk about this screen then. So at the moment we've got it unlocked, which shows there. There's the um, other part of the menu there, so we'll click that in a minute. It's touch screen, of course. We've got uh, your wattage there, we've got it in normal mode. There's your resistance, there's your voltage, uh, puff counter, uh, amperage, and independent battery markers there. And it says my mode on that particular one. But if you want to lock it quick, you, that turns off the screen by just pressing it short. And then you turn it back on, it's already locked, so you can't uh, adjust any parameters. But I do believe you can still fire it. But if you hold this button here for a couple of seconds, it unlocks it then you can go into the main menu which is up here so you've got mode so you press mode you've got wattage there is this going to focus we've got watts temperature titanium there stainless steel and you can uh, adjust the, the parameters on yeah you know, each one wattage you can adjust the wattage in temperature as well and if you're in wattage mode you've got normal normal sort of the preheats hard soft and normal which i use it in normal and you can adjust the wattage here if you want or you can just go back to the main menu and do it there but you have got these modes you can click through these different modes here and uh, you can um, put your preheats and you can basically set up like memories for it so let's go into one you can put my favorite this is where the keyboard comes into it so you can start typing in how do you do it you can go through it's like the old phone type thing i think i haven't really used this thing but it's there if you want to have a look but it's a load of uh, bollocks in my opinion but you can use it if you want you can also put your nicotine and then save it as a profile to use we have got a puff counter there and you've also got uh, some more settings we've got general we've got about there it just tells you what version number and stuff we've got there i think and well factory reset accessibility and then we've got power off and you can power off the device there just like that goes up in ones this one and all the way up to 219 watts hence the title but no uh, round robin on this one so we're just going to bring it down again Otherwise, I'll uh, burn that, that particular coil out. Proper juiced up now. We've got it all ready to vape. And if you want to turn this one off, five clicks, and then you can press power off that way as well. Was, uh, in conjunction with going through that main menu. Right, we're back up top with a Smock Morph Kit 219. Kindly sent over from Source Morph for the purpose of this review. So big thanks for that. Right, what do I think of this particular device and tank then? Well, I've had this one a good two or three months. I've given it a proper thorough test and especially the mod. The tank I use for a 
couple of weeks or so and then I put it down because I tend to like to use my RTAs and RDAs. So we've still got the same coil in the tank and we're going to talk about that one first. Right, fit and finish and build quality. I do like the 510 fit and drip tip. I think it's very funky and it does match the back panel of the mod. I'm not such a fan of rainbow. I did ask for a stainless steel, but they sent me a rainbow color. The mod I can handle because if you put like a black tank on with a, a pink drip to it looks pretty cool such as my um, blotto which we've got here but the multicolored tank i'm not an avid fan of fan of even right so we've got the obligatory push fill system from smock which you always have to push down and then across to put it back together and i find that a little bit hard work to be honest if you've got dexterity uh, issues you're going to find that a little bit of a struggle it always seems like it doesn't catch properly so you have to sort of push it down and pull it over but uh yeah at least you're not going to lose the top cap though because it just stays on there good and proper once it's in there now it comes with that horrendous bubble tank which makes it look pig ugly so i tend to rock it in two mil mode even though you do get the five or six mil capacity bubble glass i don't mind i just tend to fill it a bit more often but fit and finish and build quality is pretty sturdy little tank this is like smock generally do the build quality is pretty decent in my opinion most of the time so i've got no issues at all core life is an issue for smock tanks though so what do i think about this like i say i've been using it for two weeks mesh mesh coral in this and it still tastes pretty good so we're going to do an airflow rating first uh, i think it's rated between like i can't remember the rating but i used to rock it around 55 60 watts we're going to try it at 70 with the airflow fully open so here we go Right, airflow rating, 10 being a super airy vape and 1 being a super type. What do I think? About 7.5 out of 10, so we have got a little bit of restriction, as you'd imagine, because we've only got the 510 fit and drip tip with uh, sort of, it's in between like a, well, it's definitely a director lung. It's like a, a restrictive director run, but not too restrictive if that uh, makes any sense but i still find the airflow with it wide open is you don't get as good flavor so i like to knock it down we're going to put it down to half put the wattage down to 60 because 70 for me if you push it much more than that 75 80 you might start getting dry hits so we put it to 60 now really good so that's at halfway. Uh, so a little bit of turbulence there, as you'd expect. But it is pretty smooth, though, saying that. It's just very loud, as you can hear. You can knock it down further if you want. For me, it's a bit too restrictive like that. But that was on about a quarter open. Like I say, the way I like to rock it, it's about third shut off around 60 watts there we go and it is a decent tank guys there's no getting around it it is a very good tank on this one and the flavor is pretty good i would give it a good 8 to 8.5 out of 10 so as far as sub ohm tanks go this one gets a thumbs up from me i think it's a really good sub ohm tank you know where you are with sub ohm tanks you just vape them and you can take them out the house you don't need to really worry as long as you it's not too old the core you take it out and you know that it's going to perform and this is no exception yeah very good tank i just prefer vaping the rcas and rdas though so let's get on to the mod Right, like I say, when I first got it, I thought that's a bit loud with all those colours all over it. We got that back panel. The back panel, I don't mind if we had like a stainless uh, finish to the rest of it. But now I've put like the blotto on, it uh, complements the mod quite well. So I actually don't mind it. It's super comfortable in the hand. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as you'd expect, because we've got all these shiny, glossy finish. But we've got a super awesome display on here, though. That is really good. And you can turn it off by just touching the screen uh, the button just like that so you can do your stealthy vapes which also uh, saves your battery power right so the mod then we've got the usual style uh, grip style 
button that smock tend to like to use i've got my smock gx 350 somewhere it's not here at the moment but that one's still going strong after a couple of years or so so i've got no problems with that i did review the smock species uh, sometime last year i believe and my wife still uses that so that one's over a year old and she loves the the mod and this one is similar it's a different shape this is more rectangular much like the original alien i do believe i never own one of those though but uh, yeah i like the button you can do it like that. it's ten it's better to use it like that and grip it rather than thumb fire feels a little bit peculiar in my opinion so you end up just doing it like this squeezing it if you're doing it left hand of course you can't see the screen so uh, i tend to use it in right hand mode all of the time with this particular one right i like the um the menu system on here hold down the button unlock it and then you can go through all the different modes like i showed you down below so i think the menu system is actually quite user friendly with this one so no problems at all and it auto locks i think you can take it off so it doesn't do that but i think that's a good thing because then you're not going to in inadvertently touch things and change the settings but if you do want to just put the bottage up just hold down that button on the side for a little bit and then you can go up and down as you wish and you've got a nice big display on this so you you, you are going to be able to see this outside because it's super bright and it's uh, really good but it does affect the battery life i found with this one it won't last me all day and night with this one it's still not bad the battery but it's not as good as some of my other dual 18650 devices but all in all it does hit pretty well then we're just going to do the blotto let's put it up to what should we put up? Put it up to 100 watts. Nice, quick, responsive fire button. And it just works very well. Whatever wattage I've put on it, I'm quite happy with. I haven't tried it out in temperature control. If you want to check out that. Check out Daniel DJ NSB Vapes. Uh, I'm sure he's got to this mod on his channel. But for general wattage vaping, I think it's um, a very good device, this one. And I will be keeping on using it because I do think it's comfortable. It's not too heavy. It's not too light either. It's just a nice way it fits in hand very nicely indeed. And uh, yeah, it's just been a pleasure to use. I say the tank's not a bad one as well for a, a smock tank. So overall with this kit, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. The prices, I'm not too sure of the prices on uh, this one. You'd have to do your uh, uh, look on Google if you want to find out that. But I think it's around a like sort of 60, 70 pound mark for the kit. Not sure about the mod only, but I do think it is a decent piece of kit. So big thanks to Sourcemore for sending this one over for review. It is very much appreciated as ever. So if you enjoyed the review, guys, if you wouldn't mind, please hitting that little thumbs up icon. It helps with the analytics of the channel. It'd be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, consider subscribing and make sure you hit the little bell notification. You'll be notified of all my latest videos. Now I've got social media and we've got a website. It's mf8.co.uk. All the social media links can be found below the video as ever and the video will also be over on vape tube so don't forget to hit yourself over there and give us a little sub thank you very much okay until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one okay cheers, cheers.